One second there. There we go. Okay, I had some technical difficulties. I didn't know if I was live. You may have seen me fumbling around there. Anyway, I, I am live. Let me clear my throat. <clears throat> and my name is Joe DeChara. I am coming to you live from downtown Flushing, New York. That's right. I am in Queens, New York, the eye of the pandemic, the the epicenter of of the Corona 19 pandemic. And it, it is like a science fiction movie here. Okay, somebody's in uh, so I'm not <laughs> I'm still not able to interact with people on Facebook. Uh as you can see, I'm still working on the technology, but that's not stopping me. And it, it's a good segue into what I wanted to talk about today, which is uh, a mastermind group that I attended that I actually started. And, you know, a lot of great things happen in the mastermind group, uh, you know, epiphanies, aha moments. But sometimes the facts, the facts that you don't want to face come out. And so one of the participants, and I'm not going to say your name, Tatiana, but, uh, you know, she's afraid of going on on live on Facebook. And she her thing is that she needs to get out there. So she was on a hot seat. And her number one thing was about social media, how it's, you know, sometimes it seems fake. It, you're you're chasing ghosts. And, and it's true because. You know, a lot of times I do this <clears throat> and I don't even know if anybody is listening. But then I decided that it doesn't matter if nobody's listening because I'm saying this, I'm listening. Sometimes you listen to yourself. But once I got away from that fear of, number one, the fear of nobody listening. And number two, that I might look or say something stupid. I might look stupid and get into what I'm doing right now, which is I'm just being me, you know? And when I realize that I can just be me and nobody's perfect, you know, <clears throat> I can clear my throat on, on, on live Facebooks. I guess I'm supposed to be going like this, but I'm not planning on going out and shaking anybody's hand right now. Uh, but the fact is that the, the feedback that she got was basically like, get over your fear. If you want to do this, and she does, you will do this. And just get on Facebook Lives. And, or, and it doesn't have to be Facebook Lives. It could be, uh, it doesn't have to be live anything, but you got to get your message out there. But doing it live or even doing it, you know, and recording this because this is going to get uploaded to YouTube and it'll be forever. So what your uh, episode today <laughs> is going to be permanent, as permanent as this information can be. It'll be digital. Uh, but three months ago, four months ago, the, I, there was no way I was doing Facebook Lives. It terrified me. It freaking terrified me. But I knew that if I wanted to accomplish what I set out to do, that I needed to get over it. And it was okay to fumble. And if I went back to some of my earlier ones, I would probably look at them and and turn them off. Because I and then again, maybe they were brilliant. <laughs> I don't even know, but that's not the point. The point is that I got on here and it wasn't any of it wasn't my idea. This came from people like friends of mine, Craig Doeswalt, who, you know, so he was on stage. He's the rocketing uh, market, the rock, the marketing uh, rock star. He promised to make me a CPA, a rock star. And and that's what he did. So I said, well, if he's doing it and I knew Craig Maybe he could show me how to do it. And, uh, you know, I still got a lot of work to do as far as, you know, still uh, putting myself in those positions of being uncomfortable. And so the point is that I'm still not comfortable doing the interactive Facebook thing, 
<laughs> but I'm not going to give up on that. I'm not going to give up. And eventually I'll be doing, you'll get tired of me interacting with you because that that's all I want to do. But anyway, if you don't know me, my name is Joe DeCharra. If you've been listening for this long and you don't know me, uh, you might want to think about that. And so what I decided to do, you know, I've been trying to put a label on actually what I do for a long time. And it's pretty simple. I just help people organize their business. And the simplest way, you know, somebody, my friend Haley Gray put on a Facebook post, uh, explain, explain what you do to a, a second grader. And that was great because I said, I, I help business owners arrange their toys so that they can make enough money to buy you stuff, really cool stuff. And that's the way I look at my business now, just helping entrepreneurs arrange their stuff, hopefully their toys, because if you're doing something that you love to do, like one of my clients, Paula, does uh, – doggy daycare so she loves dogs so she created a business where she's just taking care of dogs all day you know i don't want to take care of dogs all day so i'm not in that business uh, what i want to do is i want to take care of small business owners and help them do whatever it is they want to do and have fun at it and it is possible so if you are and thank you for somebody said you're doing great joe i appreciate that I do read the comments afterwards so you can say as many uh, positive things about me as you want, and I'll, I'll like it, I promise you. Uh, so anyway, sometimes I plan these out and I do PowerPoints, and sometimes I just uh, I don't do that <laughs> because I, I said, you know what, I'm just gonna, I'm just going to talk tonight. And I decided to talk about the mastermind group that I started. Uh, what was it? I guess a, a month ago, maybe. You know, I've wanted to do it for a long time. I'm looking for my banners over here. So you can join mastermindwithjoedechara.com. And all it was was, you know, I. if you don't know what a mastermind is, it's it's simple. When two or more people, just two or more people get together and come up with some kind of crazy idea that neither one of them would have come up on their own, you've actually created something. You've created a third mind. And the, the more focused and emotional and powerful the topic is because it's got to be a uh, a topic that you're both focused on, or and hopefully, like today, we had five people in the mastermind. Uh, but what happens is big things happen that you may not even realize that are the result of masterminds. Andrew Carnegie became at the time, one of the most, in history, one of the richest, most powerful men on the planet. And he started with nothing. And when Napoleon Hill asked him, what did he attribute his wealth to? He said it was the mastermind. He couldn't have done everything he did without one. And what he considered the mastermind was his engineers, his accountants, his lawyers, uh, his circle of people that together, you know, he said, I want to build bridges for trains. And that was one of his first businesses. He started building bridges. He didn't know anything about engineering. He didn't know anything about it, but he knew there was a need. He knew there was a need. And that's one of the fundamental principles of, of what I teach, you know, you got to find a problem, find the problem, and then you'll find and find the solution, find the solution for the problem. And then 
you can make money with it if you organize your business properly. So, you know, so there's different types of masterminds and Andrew Carnegie formed his with intention uh, and he hired these people and they became his advisors. And then a board of directors at any corporation can be is a really a mastermind. Their one focus is stock value. Well, that's what it, it used to be, but and now some of them are concerned about like the environment and stuff like that. But in the end, people invest in stocks so that they go up. <laughs> So, but now you can buy stocks in companies, I guess, that are environmentally uh, conscious. But the point is that all a mastermind is, when you boil it down, can be just two people having a conversation. And a mastermind is a label. So now, once you realize that, you can form a mastermind group any day, time, place you want, okay? So I just had a thought of an awful mastermind uh, thing is when you go to the bar and you start having a conversation with the bartender because now if you're drinking and you're masterminding, that's good things don't happen. So, you know, pick and choose. <laughs> where, when, and how you want to have your masterminds. But let me let me take uh, go back to the, the real issue, which is uh, the label of the mastermind. There are masterminds out there that cost 25, 100, probably more, 100,000 a year. Okay, and that might seem unfathomable to, to most people. I can't even pay, you know, $100 a month for some kind of essential services like accounting. Okay. Uh, but they're in them, and when you listen to the results, you'll find out that the hundred grand was like uh, nothing compared to what they got in return. Because if it didn't work, they wouldn't keep going back. So there's paid masterminds. So you could join a specific group of people, like my friend Craig, I'm in his mastermind. And it started out as a uh, rock star marketing mastermind for success. But the idea was that he, you know, put together this group of people that, and we were all focused on marketing, either to learn it or to teach it. And it worked. And his group grew uh, over the years. I think when I got into it, there were like 40 people in it. Now he has over, uh, over 200 that pay him on a monthly basis uh, to be part of his group. So that's a pretty big group. You know, and some of us have been in it for a long time. And now he rebranded it to Rock Your Life. And he's not. He's not even paying me to, to talk about this. But I'm just bringing it up because it is a very effective mastermind. And if you want to join his mastermind, just go to craigdoeswalt.com. But for right now, I want you to join my mastermind, which is twice a week, Wednesdays and Saturdays at 2 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. And all you got to do is go to this, this thing. Here it is. Yeah. Mastermind with Joe DeChara.com. Okay. So the idea was to be able to explain to you how you can do your own mastermind. So I think I already covered that because, well, let me give you some details because sometimes people need the actual instructions. And so the first step because I think I promised you uh, three steps. The first step is to decide that you want to have a mastermind. Just decide. So you know what? I want to have a mastermind group. And that's what happened with me a couple of, about five or six weeks ago. I'm in a mastermind. My friend Sue Brooke uh, has a mastermind. 
She actually has a couple of them now. One's targeted for her send out cards community. So we'll meet every Tuesday at seven. <clears throat> and then there's, <clears throat> she has one Friday mornings, which is becoming pretty big. And <clears throat> so you can join Sue's mastermind. Just go to mastermindwithsue.com. And hers is free. So Sue did exactly what I did. She said, I want to have a mastermind. And she actually had a friend of hers, Sue Bonzel, and they're both named Sue. So they said mastermind with Sue. And they started getting a bunch of people. I think the last uh, meeting we had over 20 people. And that's, that's a lot for, you know, somebody just starting out. Uh, but it's popular. And the people that come usually come back. Because of the uh, the quality of the time, the the what you get back, and <laughs> so Sue did hers. I started doing them. I, you know, I they're they're great, but Sue doesn't do enough for them. <laughs> so I said I'm going to do a couple of my own, and they have my flavor, and Sue's has her flavor. And Craig's is a, a paid membership. So I don't even know what his prices are anymore. Uh, but so, and he's got 200 people willing to pay. So there's a reason why we pay. To, I love Craig, but not enough to just pay him. Okay, he's got, <laughs> he's got to... Uh, show me results and i got i got very good results and you know even doing a facebook live like this is part of uh being part of his mastermind a big part of it because i would have never known even how to do this or why to do it <laughs> okay and but if you think about it i had the intention of learning about marketing just like I had the intention of being a CPA because I wanted to learn about business, I didn't know that that meant I was going to be an accountant. Because once I found out what an accountant does, I wasn't, I wasn't too happy. <laughs> I mean, I, playing with an adding machine, it just wasn't that interesting to me. So when I decided to learn about marketing, I didn't know that meant I had to go on stage and humiliate myself and get out of my comfort zone. But I was willing to do whatever it took. <laughs> and if you're a real entrepreneur and you have a goal, that's what you're going to have to do. <clears throat> and a lot of times you get the strength, the information, the courage, from a small little mastermind group meeting on a Saturday afternoon. And my turn on the hot seat, because they put me on the spot, uh, my friend Elizabeth, because we were ready to end and I didn't ask my burning desire question. <clears throat> and it was to grow the mastermind group. I said, I love this. How do we grow this? It's free. You know, I have no plans on charging uh, for these, these meetings ever. What we got to do is, you know, everybody's invited as long as you follow the rules, uh, which aren't that many. Uh, so how do you get people? How do I get people to join? And they said, well, why don't you announce it on your Facebook Lives, <laughs> which I'm doing now. And I'll keep doing. And they said, how about if we all invite somebody? So I had four other members in the group. And hopefully if they're even listening to this, I'm reminding them. Actually, I'll just send them all an email to remind them to invite some, some of their friends to, you know, mastermind with Joe DeChara. And so... The first step, like getting back to my steps, is decide that you want to do a mastermind. Number two, schedule it. 
Just schedule it. Don't think about what you're going to talk about, who you're going to invite. Just put it on the calendar. And the third step is show up. Just show up and do it. Now, you're not going to get anybody there because you didn't invite anyone. <laughs> That's not one of the first three steps. And I said I was only going to do three. But that's how you start it. You decide, you schedule it, and you show up. Now, after a while, if you're doing it by yourself and nobody's showing up, you might want to start inviting people. But just showing up, you'll get the experience of and. Then just put yourself in the hot seat or just talk about the mastermind just like I am and record it, record it, and then start inviting people. And then you could even decide what you want to talk about or what kind of format it can be. But it doesn't have to be paid. You don't have to be part of a paid mastermind. Now, if you decide that you want to be part of a paid mastermind, then you can take it to another level. But all too often, I see people going out, especially people that just start in business, uh, they'll go out and spend $15,000 on, on, a, on a mastermind group thinking that that's going to make the difference. And it'll make a difference because you'll be $15,000 short. That's, that's a fact. <laughs> hopefully you'll get at least what you put into it and maybe more, but there's no guarantee on that. So you could start out with free. You don't have to join anybody's. You can start your own and see what happens or just go out there and be part of a group that is focused. They don't even have to be called a mastermind group. You can go to a meetup, a BNI meeting. As long as you have a group of people that have the same agenda, it is a mastermind. And you need to be part of mastermind groups, whether you know it or not. If you're in business, you will not do business for, for very long, unless you form mastermind groups. And you probably already have them. You just don't call them or look at them as mastermind groups. But to me, for me, any interaction that I have with somebody in my business is a mastermind meeting. And I'll tell you how I look at it that way and why. If we're interacting, if we're having a conversation about something, hopefully we're talking about the same topic. And we're talking about hopefully coming up with a solution to that topic. We're not talking about, you know, what what movie or what movies are out. What did you see? What was the last book? You know, that's not business. That's that's chitter chat or that that's the you know the friendly side of it but if you're talking to somebody about a transaction that is a chance to figure something out if you want to if you want to treat it like that now it could just be listen you're making the delivery you know you're not going to set up a mastermind group with the fedex guy Unless you want to. Maybe you want to learn something about the delivery business. You know, that's possible. But if you approach every situation, for instance, you want to you you are providing the service that you do for your client. I'm handing over a tax return. Well, I could just email it to them or mail it to them or i can say you know i'm so glad that you let me do this work for you uh 
I see a couple of things change from last year. Is there anything maybe if, if is there anything that's going to change next year that I might be able to help you with? Because now what we're doing is we're even looking ahead and we're putting our minds together and we're solving a problem. So for me, anytime there's a problem that can be dealt with, with, with more than just you, that is a mastermind. I am hiring a, a couple of people. Uh, you know, I need help because I'm a lot busier than I was a month or two ago. And that's, that's a good thing. But now I'm not hiring an employee. I'm not hiring a subcontractor. I'm hiring a potential partner. Okay, he, he, she needs a position. I need somebody that's going to help me grow my business. And that person is in a position to help me grow my business. If they become a superstar and maybe they'll become my client, I don't know. <laughs> but if I could make their, their job easier by talking to them and saying, listen, don't just approach this as a task that I'm giving you. There's a reason why I need you to manage my email list. I want you to manage my email list like it was your email list and connect with, with people. And if they have an issue or want information that I know about it. So it's, we can create something together that neither one of us could do on our own. And that, that's it in a nutshell. That's my story. And if uh, you notice that I'm sweating a little and I was coughing, I'm not sick. <laughs> uh, it is actually the first day it was it was beautiful out and it's 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 warm and I wasn't ready for this <laughs> and and it's it's hot in my office where I am and you know it's I hate to say this I wish this was actually my background but it's it's fake if you don't if you don't realize that uh it's not that dark out, and it, it's still freaking hot. So I think I'm going to go outside and take a walk uh, with my mask on, obviously. Thank you for listening. Uh, I hope that you will join my mastermind, mastermindwithjoe.com. And one other announcement that I'm not going to forget about, uh, I have a free webinar coming up, and it's How to Win at Business. And my friend Jenny Wright has helped me put together a great landing page. You can go here and find out all about it. I'm going to, because she just uh, Skyped me before or whatever and asked me how, how the promotion was going because it hasn't. This is the first time I'm mentioning it. But if you go to uh, howtowinabusiness.com, what you'll see is, is what I'm offering is really I'm going to bring you through the steps that every business needs to take to see profit at the end of the day. If your bank account is not going up, if it's staying where it is, if it's going down, if you're having trouble meeting your expenses, is that may if and if that's the case, is that making you uncomfortable? Would you rather have a different result? Well, if the answer is yes, then I am going to show you exactly what every business does to make that happen. And it comes down to simple fundamental formulas and facts that anyone can do. <clears throat> that anyone can do. All you need is, and I'll leave with this, if you want to go to how to win at business, the first thing that you need to make sure that your bank account is growing as a result of doing business is you must have something that somebody is willing to pay for. 
It's as simple as that. Until you could prove that you have a product or service that somebody will give you money for, you do not have a business. And that little piece of advice could have saved you hundreds of thousands of dollars. Because believe it or not, folks, there are millions, millions of small businesses that never generate one penny in revenue. Not one penny. All they have are expenses. And it's, there's a number of reasons for that. And the number one reason is because they never ask the question, do I actually have a business? Or are you just going into business and then you'll figure it out later? So these are some of the things that I'm going to point out in how to win a business. And I can guarantee you <clears throat> that at the end of the webinar, you're going to walk away with ways to either get out of the bad business that you're in or maybe start a new business or improve the one that you've been trying uh, desperately to get in the black for a long time. So that's my story. I'm sticking with it over and out. I'm going to go take a walk now. Thank you for watching. Have a great rest of the week and God bless you. Thank you.